Good morning. It's me, Lee, with Victorian Dreams by Lee, and I don't even know what number we're on, but we're doing the advent calendar, so let's move this out of the way, and uh, we, whoops, I just lost my phone. So we're doing the advent calendar for Anna, and it's all about tags, and um, let's see what number we're on. i got to do it at an angle, because I'm my mic, my mic, my mic is right here. So, oh, we've done eight, so we're at nine. I didn't remember. <laughs> and guys, we're opening up and we're going to do on the fly crafting where I haven't even seen it. I don't know what's what. And here we go. So. <laughs> So what are we going to make today? We're going to make more gift tags. And here's that little piece. That little piece. This is far. This more or less. Okay, so I think you might be able to see it better right there. Uh, this is Anna's magnet holder um, for dies on a lip. And I'm going to make a tutorial and make one. And so, yeah. So, here are the dies. Well, let me at least show you first here. Um, this is like wallpaper paper, and I can already feel that it's um, coming off. So, I don't think I would put paper on top of the magnet. Um, so, and look at that. I'm talking about two different things. I need to concentrate on one. Oh, we got three this time. We got an accident. And we have Christmas time is here, special delivery. And then we have the two cards. That's what it looks like on the back. And that's what those look like. So let's get started. You know, the first thing I always do is cut this in half. And I have my glue gun on. I have pop dots close to me somewhere. I left my setup every day. I only have time just to do this. So let's just move all this up and craft. I don't know what to do. I don't know what to make. I'm going to get my big one out. My little Impress Mini is sitting right here. I don't know if you can see it right here. So that's going to be quick and fast. So okay, let's get started. What should we do? First of all, we know we know we're going to cut those. So I don't know what to make yet. Let me think. What's the dime with my mm -hmm. um, Nothing really grand to make it. Like that. I don't really like that. I think we're just going to make a simple buy. And hmm. yeah, nothing's jumping out that I'm really, really in love with. But I think I'm going to actually cut these the same this time. And keep them the same size and maybe not even use this one. And then we're going to take this little piece and we're going to stick it right here. Can you see what I'm doing? Because I'm switching. You don't have to put me on double speed if I'm driving you crazy. I'm switching this out. Um, so it'll go faster in the long run. You hear noises beside me. My husband is working on the computer. So I'll put you here. Okay. Which is fine. Okay, so we want to make this and I don't know what it's gonna look like. And so let's get some so I have green right here. We're gonna cut one in green. And then we'll probably cut one in gold. Let's 
So let's run this one and see what we're going to make. I don't even know. And that one, yeah, this will match the green. But we'll do gold. We'll do gold on that one. See, I got to get used to putting them here. Always put the non cut side to the magnet. Um, that little star that you can save right there. Uh, something else. So we could have the tag the same size instead of using this every time, instead of using the little one every time. Um, and it could go this way or it could go this way, but I'm going to have it like a peekaboo. Who is it for? And you got to slide it over. I like that. And I like that the other side is um, covered and pretty. Let's see what this looks like. So we got to pick this out. When it's a brand new die, um, or very tight and intricate. Um, you gotta maybe poke it out, which is fine with me. That's pretty, that's a lot on there. That green does not match, but it does match this, so we're gonna use that on that one then. And then let's cut it one more time and go ahead and get our cutting done. And we'll cut the next one in gold to match this one. Just, I don't, I don't like how those kind of I mean, it's okay, but I think gold would be better on that one. So, do it all over, and we're not even going to use the small one this time. If you want, I'll cut the small one. Let me get a piece of paper, and I'll cut the small one. Well, I don't have room, but I'll cut the small one so you can at least see what it looks like. Let's see if I have a piece of gold or red or something in my scraps. We're looking for scraps for this one. using this little mini. I don't usually use it very often because um, Anna's dies are huge and so it's fun using them. Oh, I gotta take something out for dinner. I just realized I haven't done that yet, guys. So if you need to pause me and go do that, Man, I need to start a load of laundry, actually, so yeah, I am, I'm crafting without thinking about what else I need to do, so, yeah, a lot of times, I'll, before I even come to the craft room, I will, um, I will, uh, do my chores, oh no, guess what I forgot, I didn't put the, I didn't put, guess what I forgot, I'm going to have to put that back down, and I forgot this, because I had laundry on my mind and everything, so we're going to have to cut that, but that's okay, because we we're going to do an extra cut, because I wanted to show you what this looked like anyway, but anyway, let's do that, and anyway, I had on my mind what I needed to do about laundry today, and I like to do at least 15, 20 minutes worth of chores before I sit down and craft, but... I knew I was only going to do this video each day and then enjoy the Christmas season. So, yeah, that wasn't so bad because that goes there. I can save this star and then it cuts. And then this is what this one will look like if we use it. And you could use it all day long to make your own tags. But this is what it would look like. 
And of course, you would put the star in that, but that's what it would be. So there you go, guys. Okay, so let's make these. So we're going to put the gold on that one and the green on this one. And, um, and I think, let's see, do we want this here? I think I want this, I think I'm going to put this on pop dots and these on pop dots. I have an extra one. I'm happy for that. Um, I'm going to put them on pop dots and then I'm going to put holes in this and let it dangle as movement and this one and tie them all together. Simple, easy, breezy. We do not want to have a three-day craft project this time of year. We don't have time for it. Um, we're not going to make something so intense that it rattles us. And while I'm putting this on, I'm going to tell you why. I used to teach scrapbooking. I used to teach china painting. I used to teach, and I had, you know, I had my own molds for doll making, porcelain dolls. I would pour my own mold and I would teach porcelain doll classes. This was all in Florida before I moved to Texas. I have all that stuff in storage. Um, one day I hope to get back to it when I'm in my main craft room or studio. I call it a studio because it, I was literally teaching. Um, didn't make much money. <laughs> I kind of just did it for cost. I, I know I did. Anyway. The day before Christmas, Christmas Eve, I was helping ladies finish their china painting projects that they made. The stress of that on me to let them go out of my studio with something beautiful and perfect, it, it, it sent me over the edge. Um, I di it didn't send me over the edge Christmas Day, but it really... It really affected me, so that's why I'm saying um, we don't want to have a massive project that will stress you at this time of year. We want to just do little things that we can get done in a day and enjoy. And if a craft project or crafting supplies is driving you crazy, then maybe... Uh, Take a break from that and do a different craft project. In January, I want to start working with lace and fabric with my images. And so I already know in my head, I've been thinking about it, I think about it um, before I start. And I already know in my head what I'm going to do. <clears throat> I'm putting these in two different directions. One's at an angle and one's not. And so, you know what? We didn't need. We didn't need the pop up on this because I was just going to let it dangle. But let's see now what we're going to do. Do we put it on the back side? And let it, let it be cutesy on the back side since I did it? I think so. <laughs> so, all right. Here we go. We're changing it up because I've um, got so much on my mind. But yeah, I'm going to start um, going back to Blue Gun Chronicles and, uh, and, and I'm going to still do Anna once a week and card making and paper crafting. It's not all Anna. I mean, I have other companies, Craft at 45, Stamperia, uh, Prima, you know, yeah. So, and so anyway, I'm going to do one day a week of paper videos and one day a week of lace. And if you go back and look at my old videos, you will see I did um, lace and material junk journals five years ago and uh, photo albums and all that. So just go back on my old videos. You would be very surprised. If I can do it, you can do it. And it's all with a glue gun. So I'm telling you guys, if I can do it, you can do it. It, <laughs> you know, I'm, I'm, you know, I see the products compared 
my I see my crafts compared to others and it's adequate compared to other ladies. Wow, it's just amazing what other crafters can do. So anyway, so there we go. We are going to tie this up. This isn't exactly what I thought I was gonna do because I'm talking too much. But that's okay. I just um uh, my phone and I do this because I don't know a lot of people in Texas. My neighbors don't craft. So I get lonely and that's why I'm on YouTube. I got on YouTube because I got lonely. And so it's just become part of what I do. So there you go. That's what I did. And then when you turn it to the other side, there's the name and it's like um, peekaboo or C. So there's that one. And now let's do this one. And I'm going to use that extra one on another side. And get out my scrap. And then after I make all these videos, I am putting up my Christmas, all my Christmas supplies, those in buckets. And I'm going to, because I don't want them on my shelves because they take up too much space for year round. And I pull them out about September. And I will put all my Christmas stuff in buckets and get it out of my mind, and then enjoy um, the year with stuff. So I do that. And that's another thing y'all might want to do to get it in your head um, <clears throat> to feel good about crafting if you're overwhelmed, is um, put seasonal and put go to Walmart and get those six dollar buckets and all your seasonal stuff and then put it on a shelf or in your attic. But you know, I don't do attic because of the glue and stuff might get messed up. But yeah, and then it's out of your head and you have your space. And the more organized you can be, the funner crafting will be. So um, even if you're in a little space, you know, just put a bucket from the floor to the ceiling and label it, label it, label it. My daughter, bless her heart, helped me move from one house to out here. And she just put everything in buckets and didn't label what cubby hole, where it came from. And, uh, and it's uh, a couple of years later, and it's still like that. It's, it's, uh, it's hard. <laughs> so anyway, have a blessed day, everybody.